When you have an illness, when should you suspect heavy metals as an underpinning and have them tested? Well, in almost every situation, heavy metals can play a role. But I'd say the things that I've seen that are commonly associated with heavy metals would be neurodegenerative diseases like Parkinson's, Alzheimer's, age-related memory loss, multisystem atrophy, and fibromyalgia and chronic fatigue. You can also think about heavy metals as an underpinning when you have an autoimmune disease. And why is it that heavy metals are associated with these things? Well, heavy metals have can affect you in many different ways. One is that heavy metals can tag your proteins, rendering them a little different looking to the immune system, and that can then trigger an immune reaction. So heavy metals can be an underpinning for autoimmunity. Secondly, heavy metals are fat soluble, and they can lodge in your cell membranes and create localized inflammation, free radical damage that can lead to uh, uh, membrane receptor resistance, such as leptin receptor resistance, insulin receptor resistance, and poor kind of like, re like receptor functionality in general. Also, heavy metals can, can go into your cells and in the case of neurons, for example, they can affect transit of important products that are produced in the body of a neuron down the long axon to get to the dendrites where they can then move into the, the synaptic cleft and actually have, have a, an effect in the neighboring neuron. So heavy metals can disrupt the transit of the products down the neuron. And that's why heavy metals like mercury and aluminum have been associated with Alzheimer's. So there's some really interesting research about how heavy metals affect people. And when you have a disease and underlying heavy metals, is it too late or can you actually do something about it? Well, I think you can do something about it because I've done it many, many times with patients. So I've helped people with multiple sclerosis. I've helped people with Parkinson's. I've helped people with fibromyalgia many times and autoimmunity. So how do you diagnose heavy metals? And first of all, what are they? Common ones are mercury, antimony, arsenic, aluminum, cadmium, lead, and there's some less common ones, but, but these are the primary ones. And you can diagnose them. My favorite way, still after all these years, is a provoked urine excretion test. This is the way that I like to do it because it's quantitative. And so this is where I give someone a dose of a chelating agent, and then I collect urine for six hours, and I see how many heavy metals are provoked out of the system through the kidneys into the urine and, and how many heavy metals come out. The reason why I like this test is it's very, very uh, reflective of total body burden of heavy metals. And I've been able to do this safely over the years by, by first making sure people aren't allergic to these chelators and making sure it's not the first thing I do with someone, it's after I've already worked on supporting their adrenal glands and giving them a platform to work from because the test itself is somewhat stressful, So, but very important. So then you figure out how many heavy metals the person has and you can work on chelating those out. There are natural chelators for very mild situations that have some like mild effects over time, like cilantro, zeolite, binding agents in the gut, chlorella, etc. And then there are pharmaceutical chelators, which I reserve for more uh, extreme cases of, of high heavy metal levels. And you can use the pharmaceutical chelators both intravenously and orally. So oftentimes I use the intravenous for testing or under extreme circumstances, and I use oral for, for the protocols. So for example, if I see a high level of mercury, antimony, arsenic, for example, I'll use DMPS intravenously or then orally or DMSA. If someone has very high levels of cadmium, aluminum, lead, I would favor EDTA intravenously. So you can 
you can use the right chelator for the job because these chelators have different binding affinities for the different types of heavy metals. And you can make it an enormous impact if you do it right. So anyway, highly recommend you go see a doctor that's skilled in diagnosing and safely treating heavy metal toxic toxicity and you know, just use that as part of the multimodality approach to your chronic illness.